Welcome to the Walton Pie. Today we are going to go through another inductive proof example. Today we are going to show that the sum from k equals 1 to n of k all squared is equal to the sum from 1 to n of k cubed. So to begin, we are going to start with our base case. Here we are going to start with the case n equals 1. So the sum from 1 to 1 of k is just 1, so that squared is just going to be 1 squared which is equal to 1 cubed, which is what we would get if we looked at the sum from k equals 1 to 1 of k cubed. So our base case has been shown to be true. Next, we look at our inductive hypothesis. So we are going to assume that for some m greater than or equal to 1, the sum from k equals 1 to m of k all squared is equal to the sum from k equals 1 to m of k cubed. We will then use this in our inductive step to show that it will also hold true for m plus 1. So the sum from k equals 1 to m plus 1 of k cubed, we can pull out our m plus 1 term, so we get an m plus 1 cubed, plus the sum from k equals 1 to m of k cubed. If we then use our inductive hypothesis, we can replace that sum of k cubed with the sum from k equals 1 to m of k squared. So we now have m plus 1 cubed plus the sum from k equals 1 to m of k squared. From a previous example that we did on this channel that you can watch if you would like to, we can replace the sum from k equals 1 to m of k with m times m plus 1 all over 2. So we now have m plus 1 cubed plus m times m plus 1 all over 2 all squared. Because we are now going to be dealing with fractions that are over 4, we can convert the m plus 1 cubed to 4 times m plus 1 cubed all over 4, so that we have a common denominator when we add that to m squared times m plus 1 squared all over 4. So combining those together, we get 4 times m cubed plus 3m squared plus 3m plus 1, which is what we get when we expand out m plus 1 cubed along with an m squared plus 2m cubed plus m squared. All of that is over 4. We can then combine terms, and that will simplify down to an m to the fourth plus 6m cubed plus 13m squared plus 12m plus 4, all over 4. Now, that looks like a mess, but remember, we know what our goal is to try and show. So we just have to check, does that actually equal m plus 1 squared times m plus 2 squared? which it turns out it does. So that entire fraction, the m to the fourth plus 6m cubed plus 13m squared plus 12m plus 4 all over 4, can be simplified down to m plus 1 times m plus 2 all over 2 all squared. Using the same example that I referenced earlier, we can replace m plus 1 times m plus 2 all over 2 with the sum from k equals 1 to m plus 1 of k. So we have successfully shown that the sum from k equals 1 to n of k all squared is equal to the sum from k equals 1 to n of k cubed. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. Feel free to watch some of my other videos. Good luck with all of your math, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks!